So in the last Disc Golf Forum video, I taught you guys how to do exactly that. That was the shot that Kevin Jones threw to blow Big Germ's mind. The understable, flippy forehand leopard shot. And a lot of you guys really like that video, and I hope a lot of you guys are now implementing this shot out on the course. We'll throw one more, but then we have another signature shot and tutorial to go over today. But we're gonna say goodbye to the leopard for now, and we'll see it off with one more hyzer flip. absolute beauty. Again, I hope you guys saw some value in that tutorial and I hope you're able to do that now that I explained how to do that for you guys. But today we are, we're going to be a little less finessey. Um, we're going to be a little more aggressive here and we're going to flex a little bit. That's right. We have the Nate Sexton flex forehand tutorial. Nate Sexton has built essentially his entire disc golf career off of this one shot specifically. I feel like the flex forehand has basically carried him through 90% of his career. This is the shot that he's most comfortable with, the angle of release he's most comfortable with. And he was able to lock down a bunch of really impressive victories, including the 2017 USDGC. To commemorate that win, they made this run the 2018 Sexton Firebird. And I don't know why, but I've been finding these on used bins a lot lately. This one is my baby. I've thrown it probably 5,000 times or more. But I've got a stack of these USDGC 2018 Sexton Firebirds, and we're gonna talk about how does Nate Sexton actually throw his signature shot. So very different to the Leopard line, which I like to actually start my reach back a little bit lower. So my arm is already down here in this hyzered position. We're actually gonna get this angle up. And those of you who played baseball are really going to be able to lean into this line extremely naturally. Um, those of you who prefer a hyzer release, this is gonna be a lot more difficult for you. But the biggest difference between the Kevin Jones Big Germ forehand and the Nate Sexton Flex forehand, it's just gonna be the disc selection and the angle of release. We'll do a quick grip refresher just for those of you who didn't see the other video. Nate Sexton does like this sort of power grip I think it's superior in my personal opinion to do a stat grip. I think this is gonna reduce your risk for injury. It's gonna help you get the most consistency in combination with the most power. So the two finger stat grip, we don't want the palms of the fingers facing up underneath the rim here. We want them both facing, boom, right there, facing this direction in the front of the disc. So now that we have our grip, what we're going to focus on now that we have a Firebird in our hand, this is going to work with essentially any super overstable disc. We are now just going to, instead of reaching back low and having the disc in a low position, we're actually just going to keep it up here, have it nice and high, reach back nice and high, and just baseball power throw right through the top of the disc. So let's give one of these a go. This is my baby, my favorite Firebird in my collection. It is imperative. The number one most critical aspect to this line is trusting your disc. So you have to use something stable like a Firebird if you want this flex line to be optimal and effective. Now I have a much newer one here, which in theory should be a lot more stable. The more stable of a disc you can throw, the more we can get just egregiously high with this angle here. So we're gonna do a little bit more angle on this one. And at first you may think that's going straight into the ground, but due to this overstability of the Firebird and many other overstable nine speeds, you're gonna find yourself releasing it on this angle and the disc is almost immediately just gonna wanna be fighting out. This shot can be really useful for when it's really windy. And surprisingly, this is also a really good shot for tunnel shots. It's a lot easier to execute a straight flex, in my opinion, than it is to execute a flip up hyzer flip forehand. Um, I think there's a lot more touch that goes into the hyzer flip. And I think if you're new to forehanding, this should be a lot easier for you than the hyzer flip. So let's do one more and then we'll do some key takeaways and then we'll do one distance flex with an Echo Star Excalibur. That was probably the best of the bunch right there. I just got that one out of a used bin yesterday for 
So that is absolutely hype. So based on how stable of a disc you're using, all you're going to do is for more stable discs, increase this angle, and for less stable discs, just decrease this angle. So I have a somewhat neutral Excalibur here, which I believe is the type of Excalibur that Nate Sexton likes to use for his distance flex forehands. So we're gonna do one more flex forehand, but we're going for maximum distance here with a distance driver, the Echo Star Excal. And then, yeah, we'll wrap up today's video. But we're going for max D here. And that Excal is an absolute beauty. That got way past the golf green. That's like 430, 440 feet. Um, let's go over a few takeaways and then we'll wrap up the video. And there's probably a lot of you guys out there that are able to do Heiser flip backhands, no problem, but really struggle with a Heiser flip forehand. The reason this flex shot I think is better and easier for beginners and amateur players, forehands spin less than backhands. And due to that less spin, the discs are going to be a little bit less stable in the air. So with that being said, the hyzer flips and the flip up shots are just gonna require a lot more finesse on forehand than they do on backhand. And that is 100% due to the fact that forehands do spin less than backhands in general. So now that we have a good understanding of the disc selection and the grip and the angle of release, I actually think you guys are ready to go out and try this one for yourself. Um, what you can do if you're interested in seeing this in slow-mo, this would be a good time to do it. I'm going to throw four more shots there's a feature on the bottom right corner. You can click the little gear and actually slow this video down. So if you really wanna see what this form looks like in slow motion, now would be a great time to do it. But that's going to be it for today. Make sure you click the links in the description below. One is for my store over at Disc Golf Deals USA. That's gonna be the best place where you can save money on disc golf discs. There's another link for bergsdisksports.com. You can save 20% on any disc golf bag over at the site. So if you wanna switch it to slow-mo, now would be a good time to do that. Let's throw four more shots. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you like videos like this. Let's rip a few more flexes.